so so because q is negative we are just uh, thus the force on the electron is in upward direction an electron moving in the upward direction constitutes a current which we call the conventional current in the downward direction and that's why the direction of the current here is downward okay so that is fine this explains why of it right till now what we were doing we, we were trying to satisfy ourselves by inertia or whatever but there should be a cause of the movement of the current so we have come to the cause of the movement of current what is that in a moving conductor the electrons are also moving and when you hmm, and when it experiences a force in the field and what happens that's why it moves fine that is fine now come to the third experiment of faraday there he did not move anything what he did he just put the switch on and then he put the switch off now what is there how do you explain the current induced in that circuit because there you have no forces on these right how do you explain the origin of that do we understand the question in the motional thing whenever some conductors are moving in a field we have been able to tell that it is the Lorentz force the force acting on the charges that are responsible for the movement of for the for the induced current right for the movement of electrons what happens when the field is changing nothing is moving right there he moved he didn't move anything he just switched something on switched something off now what is that which is causing the causing the current. induced current what happens there what is there which does that That is there, but but then what is happening due to change in magnetic field? Why? Huh? Why? Why? Why no. So if there is a current, that means there is an electric field. So this whole experiment, especially the third experiment of his, is telling me, or or even the first, where, where he did what? He just moved the magnet. Fine. In, in, in the first one, if you remember, he just slided a magnet and things there changed. They were not moving in any field. The coil in which the current was induced, that was not moving anywhere. So what caused the current there? So it some, and, and when I am keeping it steady, there is no current. You understand the, you understand the problem. So, hope you have written this. So, the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction tells me, tells me, what? What does it tell me? It tells me that somehow a changing magnetic field is capable of producing an electric field. And that is the crux of the matter. It tells me, see, in a moving conductor, the origin of the current is attributed to to the to the Lorentz force experienced by the charges by the moving charges is it not fine but the induced current
can't be explained can't be explained on the basis of this force when a change in magnetic field induces a current in a stationary Look. Hope we understand. You should be able to understand it very clearly. When I am not moving my conductors, third experiment or first experiment, I am not doing anything. Okay. The the counterpart. When I uh, there in the first experiment, what we did, we also he also kept this this steady the 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 magnet where it was, and he moved the he moved the coil. When he moved the coil, fine, it can be explained. But when he moved the magnet and the coil was stationary, what caused the motion? That is not clear. So it means that thus it can be concluded that that a changing magnetic field a changing magnetic field is capable of producing an electric field wasn't that the law This we realized there. The other one it can be explained, right? In the motional one it can be very well explained. But here there is simply no way out, right? You just cannot explain by whatever concepts we have learned till now. But when a current is induced, obviously a magnet, uh, electric field will be induced. Fine, but but then that was not known till now. That a magnetic field is able to produce an electric field back. We knew that an electric field is able to produce a magnetic field. Fine. Currents were able to produce the magnetic field, but a, but a changing magnetic field is able to produce an electric field. That is a new concept that suddenly came into being. And the moment, moment it came into being, the, the advent of electromagnetic waves came into being. That is the principle on which an electromagnetic wave, uh, wave, wave propagates. And a, a, an electric field produces a magnetic field. The changing magnetic field produces the electric field back and they self-sustain each other and that's how the wave propagates. Okay? So that was a great, great, great insight into the things. We didn't know this till now, till, till he said, till he said that. So if you, if you ask me, the crux of the whole the, the, the insight that Faraday got is this, that a changing magnetic field is capable of producing an electric field. Hmm? Hope, hope, hope you understand why? Why? Because, because if, if, if there is a current there, it means there is a field there. Right? Without field, there will be no movement of charges. Q into E, that is what moves them. Hmm? Without current, Without an electric field, there will be no movement of charges. And when I am fluctuating my magnetic field, sitting here, maybe by switching it on or switching it off, I am actually changing the magnetic field. And if it is causing a current there, it means it is causing an electric field first. And then the result of that is the current. So it means that a changing magnetic field, when it was steady, it was not causing it. So a changing magnetic field is causing an electric field. 
if you understand the significance of it, it will give you goosebumps. It's that significant, it's that significant a discovery. And that's why he said that I can produce magnetism, uh, hmm? magnetism out of electricity. So changing electric, uh, so changing magnetic field, electricity out, of out of magnetism or magnetism out, out, magnetism out of electricity was there, right? But now I am producing mag electricity out of magnetism, right? <coughs> Fine. And induced current part that we had begun with, that was only a small part of that. Okay. So this becomes what is the what, if someone asks me what is the electromag law of electromagnetic induction, I'll say this. That that a changing magnetic field has got a capacity to produce an electric field. And and within some years only, the whole whole electromagnetic wave theory opened up. Okay. And within say 25, 30, 40, 50 years of that, you see a big revolution in, in, in the electromagnetic waves that you are using everywhere, especially with the advent of cell phones, right? They are all working on, on the same principle, right? Fine. <coughs>